You decide, and one of the biggest races in the nation is the Pennsylvania Senate race. A new poll by Insider Advantage and Fox 29 shows the GOP primary race for the nomination is close. So here to talk about the findings with us is Insider Advantage Chairman Matt Towery. Thanks for joining us today, Matt. Happy to join you. So let's start right off. Who is in the lead right now? Oh, it's a very tight race. You have Dr. Oz at 23, you have Barnett at 21, and you have McCormick at 19. All of those almost within our margin of error. So it's a very tight race as we get into this last week. Interesting. And, and you know, getting that endorsement from, from President Trump on the, on the Republican side is huge for a lot of these candidates. Of course, Dr. Oz got that. Is there a Trump bump in these numbers for Dr. Oz? What we're going to find out in Ohio, where we looked at the polling after those races ended and J.D. Vance won, in general, Vance did about four to six points better than the polls, even the best polls that I follow um, showed. And so there is a possible Trump bump. And the controlling factor was the governor's race stayed exactly as the polls predicted. But will it be the same in Pennsylvania? We'll know after the votes come in. Now, kind of a, a sudden bump up to second place here. We've all been seeing a whole lot of McCormick and Oz yeah. ads, you know, every few seconds on the air. Uh, tell us more about Kathy Barnett. Well, tell me more about Kathy Barnett. She wasn't there a few weeks ago. Now suddenly she's zooming up. She's in second place. The question will be whether Kathy Barnett, uh, because she has not been really one of the two rival candidates going at it in this race, is ready for prime time and whether she's ready to take on the Democrats in November if she gets a nomination. But right now she is on the rise, I think partly due to a good performance in that last debate that the candidates held. Now, according to the poll, there's also a lot of undecided voters here. And, you know, there's a lot of issues out there that matter to people. Of course, you've got what's happening in the Supreme Court right now. Uh, you've got inflation. And so is that why there are so many undecided voters? Just the issues are out there and people haven't you know, quite figured out what the main issue is? Well, you know, I've been doing this for Fox affiliates and others for a long time, but we noticed in this last year post pandemic that oftentimes we'll poll and we see a much larger undecided than we ever saw before. Some of that is because of people have election fatigue. I think some people more than in the past tell us they're going to vote. They end up not voting. But it also tells us that there's a degree of, of undecidedness about politics in general. You just alluded to the issues that keep coming up one after another. I mean, we can't keep up with all the issues we have to deal with these days, and that may have people more on the fence and waiting to the last minute to decide who they're going to vote for. All right, Matt Towery from Insider Advantage, thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing what happens here in just a few weeks here in PA. Thank you, Matt. Sure. Uh, by the way, you can find more information on the poll on fox29.com on our website. Let's head back.